Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Burnt Church. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's a hot day here. We finally found a little shade. It's supposed to be up to 101 or 102 the day after tomorrow. And it's starting to feel that way now. It's getting hot and the humidity, you can almost see it. We've worked all day today repairing a trailer, and I'm just about wore out. I found a shade out here in the garden on the green beans, and while I was picking them, I ran across our electroculture. So I was going to bring you in here and let you see some of these green beans right here where the electroculture is. And we'll take a look at some more electroculture on the corn and probably the sweet potatoes. So if you hang around a few minutes, we'll check those two out. I'm going to try to keep the video short. I'm needing to get this work done. And right here is the electroculture. I showed these back earlier in some other videos on these beans. It's going to be hard for you to see in here. Now this ain't the first picking. I've picked them several times and they may not even be ready right now. But you can see in here, there's several young green beans. Right in there is a few that's big enough to pick. Right here. So it looks like this spot right here only had about two beans big enough on there to pick. And like I said, these has been picked quite a bit. I'm just checking them today because there's a shade here. So we'll go and check out the sweet potatoes and the corn. You can see the corn back here behind me. If you've been keeping up with our videos, this corn has just gone crazy the last week or so. And we'll check it out. It's in full tossel. Now this is sweet corn. Incredible is the name of it. It's a pretty good sweet corn. I usually do peaches and cream, but I had some incredible seeds that were older and I needed to get rid of them. So we planted them this year. Let's see if we can get down through here and see if we can find the electroculture. So this right here is the upper row right over here to the right. It's the tallest. The middle row has almost caught up with it on height. And then this lower row, it's just, I don't know. You'd think the lower row would be the biggest. That fertilized you'd think would wash downhill. But let's go down through here and see if we can find that first electroculture spot. I had trouble finding it before, so I imagine it's gonna be a little trouble now. It's starting to put on some ears, you can see here. I should have put a ribbon close to where the coils was at, that way I could find them easier, but that would involve using your brain, and I'm not real good at doing that sometimes. So right here is the first spot right down here if you can see there that corn it's it's a little taller than some of it in this row but on average i would say it's probably about the same size as some of the other bigger that's in the row so i i don't think that's done a whole lot we're gonna let it keep growing here with it. And when the corn gets ready, we'll do a taste test on them and see if there's any different taste. I've been hearing that this can even change the taste of things. So that's something I'm gonna try also. I watched a video the other day on Deep South Homestead and they was doing a taste test on tomatoes. And the tomato that they picked that tasted the best had this kind of electroculture on it with the coils. So we've got one more here in the corn. I'll get on up here and we'll find it and see if it's any different. I see it right up here. Right down here it is. And now it's coiled backwards. That's one of them that is coiled backwards. Now the corn's not as tall here, it's shorter. Right here's the stalks that the electroculture's by. And it's shorter than that row over there, which 
most all of it down through here is shorter than that row. But this one is also shorter than the first one that we checked on back here. I've noticed a few things on this electroculture. It seems to do some plants better than others. Now, that's my opinion. Everybody's welcome to have their own. But I'll show you right here some plants that I think the electroculture has really helped. You see this squash right here, and this big one right here. Now you can see all the other ones on down past it. These were all planted at the same time. And this one with the electroculture is outgrowing the other ones probably three to one. That's the best spot that I have seen the electroculture that makes me think that it's doing something. On the cucumbers here, it's just kind of the same way, right close to the electroculture. They seem to be growing and thriving better than the other ones. So maybe it works better on some plants than others. And like I said, this is just for fun for me. It's just something that I found out that I'm trying. It's not the only gardening skills that I want to have, but it's one to add to your toolbox. So right here is another electroculture. And these plants right here by it are doing better than these plants over here away from it. So let's go take a look at the sweet potatoes now. Let's see if they've done anything to the sweet potatoes. Oh yeah, we got one more down here. We'll check out this big, the special one, I guess you'd call it. This one here, I haven't showed it in a few days. Now those cucumbers right here around it are by far the biggest cucumbers we have. I'm thinking they're gonna start blooming within a few days. You can see right there how big they are. This one right here to the right going up this post is probably two and a half foot tall compared to these right here. So yeah, I think it's helping some things. All this stuff's fertilized the same. So let's take a look here at the sweet potatoes. It's been several weeks since they've been planted and they have got some rain now, and they're starting to take off. They need to be sprayed with some neem oil. They've got some little bites on their leaves. But right here is the first electroculture. And I wouldn't say that he's doing any better than any others. Uh, some of them are doing even better than him. And on down here is our burnt church style electroculture that's the doubled wire that we made and i can't tell that that plant is doing any better than any of the others we're going to let this stuff stay here until we dig the sweet potatoes and when we dig the sweet potatoes we'll see if they make more sweet potatoes where these electroculture coils are they might be something to it oh right here's one more place i forgot about Right here. Those sweet potatoes right beside the coals on that one there, I didn't see any bug bites. I don't know if that copper helps on that effect or not. Well, I thank y'all for watching. I pray God blesses you, and I'll see you in the next one.